This is lecture number 10, How to Create Quality Inspection Plan, Trainer, Mohammed Akib Sheikh. This is lecture number 10. In this video, we will learn how to create quality inspection plan. We will advise you, before watching this video, you must read relevant fields and technical terms as we have already described in starting of the video, so that you can understand each and every step of this transaction. Here you can see the path, logistics, Quality Management, Quality Planning, Inspection Planning, Inspection Plan, Create. You can see here transaction codes such as QP01 for Create Inspection Plan, QP02 for Change Inspection Plan, QP03 for Display Inspection Plan, etc. We will double click on the transaction code QP01 or write this T code in command bar and press enter icon. A new window will be opened. Create inspection plan, initial screen. Enter material code here. Then enter plant. Group. You can use groups, for instance, to identify two routings that have different production steps for one material. You can create quality inspection plan through change master record. You can generate change number by using T code CC01. In this case, we will create quality inspection plan without change number. In lecture number 11, we will learn how to change or update inspection plan by generating change number in change master record. Now we will enter key date. Press F1 key from your keyboard and read about key date. We have already described about this field in previous lectures. After completion of entries in mandatory fields, we will press enter key icon. A new window will be displayed. Create inspection plan, header details. Group counter, if you are going to create first inspection plan or task list, system will generate this task list as group counter number 1. If you generate another inspection plan for this material, system will generate group counter number 2 and so on. You can create various inspection plans or task lists for one material for different inspection criteria. Under the general data heading, deletion flag field, you use this indicator to specify that the task list will be deleted with a deletion program during the next archiving run. If you selected deletion flags as a selection criterion for the archiving run, you can reset the deletion flag anytime before the next archiving run. Usage, this key specifying the areas in which the task list can be used, for example, in production or plant maintenance. Status, you use the status key to indicate the processing status of a task list. For example, you can indicate whether the task list is still in the creation phase or has already been released. Press F1 key from your keyboard and read all the information, definition and usage of these fields. We have already described the functions about these fields and technical terms in starting of the video. In usage field, we will choose number 5, goods recite. In status field, we will pick number 4 option, that is released general. Old task number, here you can enter document and version number. You can set other criteria in other fields according to your quality inspection requirement. After completion of basic entries, click on Operation Overview button or use shortcut key F7. 
A new window will be opened, inspection plan create, operation overview. You will enter the data as per your quality inspection need. We will enter work center here. Work center is an organizational unit that defines where and when an operation should be carries out within a plant. You can define here your testing lab or work center where quality inspection activities are performed. We will click on the list icon and choose Control Key QM01 Inspection Operation Characteristic. Now we will enter standard text key for elaborating quality inspection. For example, packaging material or raw material testing. You can create your own text as per your requirement. After completion of these fields, we will select this row and click on inspection characteristic button or use shortcut key F7. A new window will be opened Create Inspection Plan, Characteristic Overview. Under the column heading, Master Inspection Characteristic, we will assign inspection characteristics according to Quality Inspection Plan for a material. Click on the list icon for searching inspection characteristics, which we have already been created. Please watch the lecture number 1 and 2 videos, how to create qualitative and quantitative inspection characteristic. In the search field, we will search first inspection characteristic, which is physical appearance, like this. Now double click on the inspection characteristic and the press enter button from your keyboard. A new window will be displayed, create inspection plan, catalogs, we have learned how to create catalog of selected set in previous lecture. In selected set field, we will choose relevant selected set or specification by clicking on list icon button. Now click on selected set selection button. A list will be appeared of selected sets. From this list you can choose specific selected set for this inspection characteristic. For example, we choose this selected set. In this case we will choose, should comply the test, you can choose your own according to your inspection plan. This is just for exemplary. Double click on the selected set. Selected set will be assigned like this. Then press enter button. A new window will be opened, create inspection plan, dynamic modification. Here we define sampling procedure code which we have learned in the lecture how to create sampling procedure for qualitative and quantitative inspection characteristic. Click on the list icon button and choose relevant sampling procedure. Like this. Then press enter key. First qualitative inspection characteristic has been assigned for this plan. Now we will enter further inspection characteristic for inspection plan. For searching another inspection characteristic, repeat above steps. We will search now quantitative inspection characteristic. For example, length. We will search length inspection characteristic and then double click on it to assign the inspection characteristic into the inspection plan. By pressing enter key from your keyboard, a new window will be displayed quantitative characteristic data. This is quantitative or numeric inspection characteristic so parameters are changed as compared to qualitative inspection characteristic. In qualitative or non-numeric inspection characteristic we entered only selected set, description or specification, but in case of quantitative MIC, we will enter lower, upper values with other relevant information like this. We will enter lower specific limit, for example, we will enter 60, then enter 70 as upper limit. You can set the target value as well, this is optional. In unit of measure, we will choose millimeter, by clicking on the list icon, choose millimeter unit and then double click on it to assign it. Like this. Now we enter two in decimal places, 
you can enter as per your requirement. Then press enter key from your keyboard. Now enter sampling procedure for this quantitative inspection characteristic. That is A5605. Then press enter key from your keyboard. Now repeat these steps to assign more inspection characteristic according to your quality inspection plan. Like this. Dear SAP users, please note that during creation of inspection characteristic, we have chosen incomplete copy model option for status field. So this option will allow us to change here control indicators or parameters according to our inspection plan and there is no need to create new inspection characteristic for each material. We can use these inspection characteristic for other materials as well after necessary changes of specification data according to material specification. For example, we have marked check on summarized data at the time of creation inspection characteristic, but here we can change it to single result. There will be no effect on master inspection characteristic because we have chosen incomplete copy model. If we choose single result option then we have record results in multiple values as we defined AFIX05 sampling procedure for this MIC so that we will record 5 single results inspection or testing values. If we want to record 10 values then we select AFIX10 sampling procedure. If we marked the check on summarized result recording, then we will enter one value or average value for this test and there will be no effect that what sampling procedure is defined. For example, AFIX05 or AFIX10 or 15. After completion of assignment of inspection characteristic in inspection plan or task list, we will check consistency. For this, we will click on consistency check button to check any error or errors in inspection plan. If inspection plan created without errors, then we will click on the save icon to save the quality inspection plan or task list. Great work! You have done it. Thank you. This is the end of lecture number 10. In lecture number 11, we will learn that how to change or update the quality inspection plan or task list with change master record.